So I want to upload to YouTube my Zoom recordings. Now I'm going to do this at a really basic level. I'm going to show you there are some other options to make your video much more slick and much more enhanced, but I'm not doing any editing at all on my video. So I'm just going to upload it into YouTube. So I would go to studio.youtube.com. Obviously you need to have a YouTube channel. And what I'm going to do, I could go into videos here or simply go to create here or go upload video here. So I'm going to go create and that's an option to upload the video. That's the same as this one here. Upload the video. It must mean the same thing. And then I can drag and drop a file or else I'll do it the traditional way, which is I'm going to search. Remember, I have got how to record in Zoom. And so I select the file wherever that is. And I am going to highlight that file. And that went for 44 seconds, that first video. And I go open. Now, you can enhance this title. This title is very important in YouTube and the description could really be a mini blog post. But what I'm going to do is uh, demo, right, uh, in a Zoom call, you can, re right, here we go. You can record a Zoom call and upload it to YouTube. Okay. Now, if that's all I wanted to do, I could just get away and just hit publish now. I could just hit next and publish now. There's a whole lot of other things I could do. At this stage, a playlist, which is like a group of videos, I'm not even going to do that yet. Is this video made for kids, yes or no? I'm going to say no only because it's going to create a lot of frustrations if people have um, videos in there that uh, if they have filters and so on. So, and I could add some tags in there. And I'm going to say, put in some tags here, such as I'm not sure what tags to put in. Zoom video, video um, conferencing. All right. Uh, record a video. I'm not quite sure what to put in here, but I put in some tags in there. I could leave all of this video language content as aired. I don't worry about subtitles. Um, uh, YouTube can do its own subtitles. I can put in a date and I can say where I was, where I uh, recorded the video. I don't actually need to do any of this. I don't even need to use tags. I don't care if my video goes viral or not. And you know what? I could even upload my own thumbnail. But if I don't, it's going to use one of these as, as a default. Something that it has just picked up from the video itself. Now all I need to do is hit next here. And an end screen is look at the end of this video. Here is where you're going to go. I don't care. I'm going to leave all of this blank. This is just the basics. This is very important. Public means everybody can see your video. If you want to, you could just make it unlisted. So that's only for people you want to share it with. Uh, if they've, or anyone who's got that link, or you could make it completely private if you want. Not really sure of the difference between unlisted and private, but I make my videos public and you could schedule it to run later to publish later or just publish it now. And I just hit publish there. And that is it. I've now got this video link here. I could then share it with all of these uh, social media ones. Not going to. And I can hit close. Congratulations, you have now just uploaded a video onto YouTube. Now, in fact, that video is not actually that good um, because it's just a sample video. So I'm going to go back into videos and I am going to delete that video or I could just make it private. Or, or unlisted, or I could delete it altogether. I could go in and change the thumbnail. I, I might go in. I might go and create a thumbnail in Canva. There's plenty of videos around 
on uh, YouTube on how to create good thumbnails. Uh, I'm not the person to go to for that. But if I had th a thumbnail, I would go upload thumbnail and then point to wherever I've got my thumbnail. Okay? So the thumbnail is, is what people see, is, can be very important, is what people see to make them want to click on. That just that f It's not the first frame of the video, and you can add it later, which is great. You don't have to add it right now. But yeah, like the real basics, just leave it, leave it at that. If I were to enhance this, if I really wanted this video to do well, I would definitely improve the thumbnail because that doesn't that first one doesn't say anything. If people are looking from from you know ten feet away, five feet away, are they going to tell what this video is even about? Um, I would make this description much more packed in with much more information, a few keywords and things like that. But for the moment, that's all I'm doing. And I could always add in subtitles. I can respond to people's comments. I could go and edit edit out parts of the video, take uh, trim bits out of it, but I'm not doing any of that. Okay? So very, very simple. In fact, what I'm actually going to do is delete this video now. And the way I'm going to do that is go Options, Delete. And it says here, sure. And I'm going to hit delete forever. So that video has disappeared from my YouTube channel. And so you can record a video, a video on Zoom and upload it onto YouTube. It's a great, a great thing to, um, to do. It's a, it's a great help to people who need to be able to see the video and to share your expertise from a Zoom call onto YouTube. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.